Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the second part of The Insanity. In the first part, we were playing as a nameless protagonist, maybe Mr. Thompson, who checked in at the Sanity Inn, and then the whole world seemed to collapse in on itself. Uh, monsters were roaming the hallways, uh, we saved an emo girl from her apartment from a slimy monster, and uh, yeah, now we're just basically trying to survive. Um, a lot of characters involved. We had a date with the white lady. Um, she didn't kill us. That was good. Um, we interrogated uh, a professor who was our neighbor in the next room by the priest, who's still holding us at gunpoint and is still a madman. And uh, yeah, we are now at day seven. And we've woken up and Robin, our, um, our maybe lover, is waiting for us. <gasps> Another nightmare? I'm starting to worry about you. You don't need to worry about me. Well, at least food is on the table. I think we have enough for a couple more days. That's great. Fantastic. Did you check on the water in the bathroom? Yesterday it almost drained out. Hmm. We should try to collect it in something just in case. To be honest, we should have done what they did in 28 days later. We should have had buckets on the roof straight away just for this type of scenario. Let's see if there's any more news. I am a voice. I voice. I voice. I voice. I voice. I voice. 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 I am voice. I like lamp. So it seems like everywhere in the town has succumbed to this weird... Well, we don't even really know what's happening. And now there seems to be... Well, the cable's always there. Am I imagining things now? I don't know. Right. Can we use the phone? We cannot. We cannot get in contact with the Watcher. Um, right. No. There's no so? water. There is no water. Damn it. We should realize this earlier. We can survive without food for a while, but we need water. We have no idea how long we'll be stuck here. Let's look for bottles of water. Let's... Well, I mean, we kind of already did that, didn't we? Um... We went searching for food and water in this floor the first time, so... Mm, I don't think that's gonna... I'm just, they're both bad choices, but... We already cleaned out the entire hotel. That's what I said. And outside is even more dangerous. Apparently. Allegedly. We don't know. You can call the Watcher. Maybe he can help us with something. He hasn't helped us with anything yet, but we can try. We can but try, Robin. Mr. 007. Are you there? Security post, how can I help? Uh, let's, yeah, let's try with just finding out I'm on it. Caught a signal, but it's really weak. I'll update you when the news comes out. How's everything? How are you? Couldn't be better. I just love being cooped up in here, listening to those bloodthirsty creatures drooling outside my door. I think he's been sarcastic. I think our Mr. Bond is being sarcastic. And the constant loud noise lately. I'm already planning how I'll be saving money for a shrink when we get out. If we get out. Alright. Oh. Debbie Downer. We're out of water. You know, you're the only guest who's always got something to complain about. Monsters in the hallway. No water. You're a terrible client. Hey! Come on now, pal. I've been helping you out immensely, okay? But then again, the other guests are either dead or insane, so there's not much of a comparison. Yeah, exactly. So what's up again? We're out of water. All right, looks like the emergency pump has failed. It needs to be restarted. And wouldn't you thunk it, I'm going to be the one to do that, right? Come down to me on the first floor. Find a security room. It's behind the reception desk. I'll guide you from there. This will be my first time meeting him. Interesting. Hmm. I'm not going to ask him why he doesn't fix it himself. I'm just going to say, okay, I'll be there soon. Good luck. We need to go 
downstairs, aren't we? Yeah. We haven't been out for a long time. I don't even know what's going on there now. Tell you what, I'll go out first and open the door to the stairs for you. You'll wait a little and follow. Oh, that sounds like a bad plan, Robin. That doesn't sound like a good plan at all. Let's stay separate. Uh. This way there will be less chance of being noticed. Okay. Where did you learn to open locks? Where will you go? Yeah, where did you learn to open locks? Let's find out about it your theory. Matter. It does! Just say that before coming here, I had to do all sorts of things. Oh, Robin. My sweet, sweet Robin. She's hiding something. Again. <sighs> okay. I'll go up first and you'll follow. Walk towards the stairs. Good luck. Got some jazzy music going on. We do have the other um, flyer here, which I like. I like these are like little collectibles, but there's no number for the restaurant, so... Alright! Looks like we are heading down. Oh. Oh. Okay. The electricity's gone out. How's our professor friend doing? Yeah, I like the fact that every time we're coming out into the hallway now, everything seems to be degraded more and more so. Yeah, let's check on our professor friend. Young man, do you have a minute? I'd like to talk to you. What else should I do? Sure. I'm working on a theory of infection, but there are some inconsistencies. I need an outside opinion. The first question is about the variety of physical changes in the victims. You've encountered these unfortunate people much more than I have. What do you think influences their differences? Oh, interesting. Okay. I don't know. The changes seem random. They depend on personality and experiences. The amount of... Yeah, I think it depends on the personality. Because we saw the woman in white. And she was obviously aggrieved by the fact that she wasn't over her ex. But then I don't know who the slimy creature was that was outside Robin's apartment. I'm going to say it depends on the personality. Alright, next question. One of our first signs of change is nightmares. As I understand it, their essence varies depending on the victim's experience. But is there something common in them? Ah. Huh. I... Uh, I'm gonna go... Well, for me it's water. But for him, for the professor, it was his... The sky? I'm gonna go with water. I see. Alright, now let's talk about the level of physical changes. How noticeable are they? People turn into monsters. Let's just say it's quite noticeable. I barely know it. Yeah, people turn into monsters. Is that so? Curious. Alright, I'm ready to draw a conclusion. This is definitely not an infection. The laws of our universe do not allow such changes in the body. Whatever caused them, it came from outside. I'm talking about a dimension with completely different rules. About a place where thought is as real as a physical object, or a person. Behind those changes is someone's will. I don't know what it wants, but it has a plan for all of us. And since the changes are spawned by the psyche, the defense against them must lie in the same area. Thank you for helping me figure it out, young man. Okay, so obviously the cosmic entity that has been talking to us, she is this... she is this thing, right? Oh, there's a lot of... What? Is that the priest? Is he doing the Lord's work? I think he is. I think it's time for us to move. To skedaddle. To get out of here. And the family unit is no more. Oh, yeah, the priest is... He is laying down the law uh, with who he considers to be... We're going to close that behind us. Um, so what, we're going... Oh, we're going downstairs, aren't we? Yeah, so... And Robin is conveniently not here. Is that a helicopter? I don't know. Alright, we'll continue on our way. Oh, wow. Can't go down there. Oh! There's the monster. Just staring at the wall. I need to distract him. I'll try to throw something down the stairs. Will that distract him, though? Ah. Uh, a bucket of cleaning wares. Here you go. And I'm just going to walk slowly past you. 
Nothing to see here. All good. A new area. Very nice. Okay. Ah, read a note. He likes to call himself the Watcher. He says it's not just the job. He had the same call sign back in the army. Ah, and he calls me a slug. He thinks I can't hear it. Why is he always so silent? Jerk. Go there, do this. I know why you don't do anything yourself, Will Legged. Right, so that's why the Watcher guy can't do a lot of the jobs because he's in a wheelchair. I see. All right, and here we are, back at reception. It feels so long ago that we were just checking in under the guise of Mr. Thompson. Well, here we go, we've got loads of water here. Monster energy juice, all that stuff. Can we not just leave? Can we try, no, it's all boarded up. Of course it is. I hear lots of whispering going on. Okay. Me, can I come in? No, sorry, I... I've barricaded myself in here and it won't be quick to open. But I'm glad to hear your voice in person. Don't you trust me? What are you hiding in there? Let me in, just tell me where to go. I'm gonna say yeah, Do you, don't you trust me? Of course not, I don't trust you. Have you even heard your own voice? You sound like you're reading a text. <laughs> That's that kind of meta thing going on again, I like it. It's obvious that I don't trust you. It's good to, I mean, it is good to, that, you know, we have this kind of rare disorder um, that we can't see people's faces, that we can't hear. We just hear the kind of mumblings of people. So we would sound like that to everyone else. That's interesting. I like, I like the way they've spun this as well. And do you trust me? You don't have to answer. I know what you'll say. You need to go to the swimming pool wing. Go into the main hall and turn right to the elevator. To the left of it, you'll see an entrance to the pool. Go there. You need to find the boiler room and restart the pump. How do I start it? Yeah. The staff left instructions in the boiler room. You can handle it. Just be careful. There are no cameras in the pool, so I won't be able to help you. Uh, also, lately, I've been hearing some kind of rumble from there. I don't know what it is. Of course you have. Of course you have. Good luck, kid. Yeah, thanks. I know you're in a wheelchair and everything, but... You could be a little bit more helpful. You could be just a little bit more helpful. Okay. Um, uh, going into the swimming pool. Yeah, lift us still out. Uh, oh, here's yeah, some thumping. Here and some thumping. Oh, we've got another note here. Why is he lucky enough to be so good looking and not me? Why does he have such a good figure and I don't? Sure, he can be proud of himself. I know his secret. I know what he's taking. Ah. Taking a bit of the steroids, eh? Pumping yourself up like Arnie. Right, that door's locked. We have the men. Can we go? We know. It is quite dark. Very, very dark. Um, ah, we got more gum. I mean, I haven't really used any of that as of yet, but lockers? There's always something in the lockers, no? Oh, was that something? No, just a reflection. Hearing a lot of thumping. Dead bodies. A lot of dead bodies. Um. Mate. Just a leg. Uh, I like that we're following the trail of blood into the swimming pool. Wow. Okay, pool depth. Is there something in the swimming pool? Is that what we're saying? Is there some new beastie lurking around? The music's very good. I do like that. We have arrows going into here. Okay, 25 bar, 30 bar, 5 bar, 20 bar, 15 bar, and a whole myriad of pipes. Why do they have to be that convoluted? All right, okay. Um, I'm thinking, right, we're going to have a pipe puzzle coming up, aren't we? 
We're gonna have something. Jesus. What is that? That's closed. All right. Um. Beast box. No. Okay, these instructions? I was scolded for falling asleep in the boiler room. Why don't they understand? It's dark there and no one sees you. Water drops bring me good dreams. Oh, loving the good dreams. So we need to get this pump started. We need this generator started. Um, okay. A little flamingo floating around. Ah, oh, we can actually get some light here. You wanna buff yourself up? Yeah. Oh, got a first aid kit. Look at my buttocks. Look how they clench. Ah, right. So the green is 15. I see. I understand what's going on here. I might have to write this down. Green is 15. Pretty easy to remember. Green 15. Okay. Right. Let's go for red. Fine. Oh. You sneaky, sneaky. Getting me with that hot steam. Wow. Okay. That did actually make me jump slightly. Nothing around here. Nothing in the uh, locker room. Ah. The what? This is behind here? Yes. Gotta follow the pipes. So red is 10. That just leaves blue, right? How... We were already in the blue room, though. Did... Oh, I, I see. That's why the pipes were so convoluted, because we're going to have to do the old... Uh... i got a feeling that something's going to come out of the, of the swing. Have we got another amnesia moment here, or did that... Was that something that fell down, or was that coming from the swimming pool itself? Not entirely sure. I feel like uh, we're going to fight a beastie once we've solved this puzzle. Right, so here's the pipe. Goes around here. Goes up there, around here. Down. Around. Up. Over. Down. Around. Around the loopy loop. This way. Down. Corkscrew. There's no need for this. There's no need for all of that. Yep, 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 yep. And that's 20 as well. Okay, so... No, sorry. So I think now... Oh, we've got to get to the other room, don't we? Okay. Which was... Here. Through here. Okay. So red was 10. be 10 blue was 20 and then green was 15 Something should happen now. I'm imagining... Yeah. There we go. Generator started. And now are we going to have to face some... Swimming... What the hell is that? Help, please! What do 
you want me to do? Oh, is that like one of the... Oh, okay, we're running. We're running is what we're doing. Um, okay, not to go that way. Is this monster meant to represent the, uh, the Arnie bod? Oh! I'll go through there. Oh, I see a vent. I see a vent. I'm running for it. Come on in. Come on in. Yeah, you just wait for me there, monster steroid creature. Oh, he's gone. Has he gone? I don't know. He's doing something. There's something going on. Is he going to be stalking now? Is he going to be stalking around? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I fucked up. I messed up. Hello. It's my cookie. You don't eat my cookie. Oh, we're going to. Oh, okay. I'll just skip forward in the video to the point where um, I uh, I messed up. Okay, we're going to try that again. I'm assuming I have to go through this door. Yes. I did not do that last time. That's electricity. That's electricity. A lot of electricity going on here. I'm coming to get you. Wow. Oh, do I need to avoid these? Um, do I slide through here? I'm guessing I do. Open this door, I'm hoping. Yes. Hello. Ah, open the valve. Oh, the valve. Yes. Ooh. No need to lose your head over it, mate. <laughs> So these creatures can actually be killed then. That's interesting. I'm assuming that's one of the staff of the hotel that was taking steroids. He looked like a beefy monster. Hey, Robin. How you doing? Yeah. Yeah. It was something. It was something. Are you okay? Oh, you know, just being chased by a... Freaky steroid monster with no skin. Yeah, fine. Who was it? How did you end up here? How did you end up I here? I didn't meet you in the hall and heard the noise. So I went there to check. A convenient story, Robin. It looks like a short circuit burned down the fuses. Mm. We need to go to the Watcher. Maybe he knows what to do about it. Oh, he's just going to whine and complain, I'm guessing. <sighs> At first there was no water. There's no light. It's like I'm home again. Well, yeah. at least the pump is working now. Without light, this place looks even more creepy. It seems that someone is watching me. Talk to the security guy. I'll watch the entrance. Oh, and what are you going to do, Robin, if someone comes in? You're going to run away, aren't you? Jeez. All right. Was it you who cut the power? I was attacked. I had no other choice. This wouldn't have happened if you'd have gone instead of me. I mean, if he's in a wheelchair, to be honest with you, I think I had the... Uh, I was being chased by a monster. Yeah, I think, um, it was an accident. You should have been more careful. I warned you. I was close to getting a signal out, but now everything's gone haywire. All right, kid. I need to check the manual and see if this can be fixed. Head back to your room. The corridors aren't safe right now, and my cameras are no longer working. All right. Not like job well done. We've got the water working in the hotel again. Nope, nothing like that. Oh, back under the sea. I think we're going to have a chat with the cosmic entity and she's going to chide me for making all the wrong decisions in my life and not trusting anyone. Under the sea. Yeah, there she is. Oh, and she's stationed just behind a big tap. Interesting. You tried to help them. You almost died. And what in the end? Everything only got worse and they treated you like crap. Not necessarily. Robin hasn't been treating me like crap. The Watcher, mayhaps, a little bit, but not Robin. Me and Robin are going to get married. We're going to go live on an island. We're going to have 13 dogs. 
and drink margaritas. That's the plan. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize I had to. Uh, I brought back the water to help myself, not them. You're exaggerating. Yeah. You're exaggerating their reaction. So you risked your life for them, and they paid you with nagging. Of course, that's much better. Before you know it, you, and only you, will have to solve their problems again. Yeah. It's kind of the game mechanic, though, isn't it? They can rely on you, but you can't rely on them. I kind of hope I can. I'm kind of hoping that the Watcher or Robin will kind of help me at some point. Robin is helping me. The Watcher is trying to contact the rescuers. The priest is hunting monsters. I have to trust someone. Uh, yeah, Robin is helping me. She's with you only because you protect her. She's a thief, and you've already realized that. You know that she's hiding something even more dangerous. They will betray you if you rely on them, as it was then. Back in the foster home, you will be alone again, broken. Then you will remember why you came here. I don't want this, but maybe it's worth reminding what it's like. Open the valve. Oh, is this... Did I try to drown myself? Is this what's happening? And now she's, like, putting me through the... The pain. I'm still unsure of whether all of this is real. Whether I'm in some kind of purgatory limbo land. Between half-life and half-death. Day 8. So I was spitting out water, so there was something there. Hey, can you come in? I'm in the bathroom. What are you doing in the bathroom, Robin? What are you doing in the bathroom? And asking me to come in. <gasps> Is this it? Is this the moment we bang? Let's see what's going on the radio. I think we need some more sexy music. If... Yeah, let's go with that. That's sultry. If what I think's about to happen... Why is she calling me in? Why is she calling me in? She's having a shower. Huh? You tell me. As you can see, water's on. You did it. Could you pass me the soap? I can't reach it. Oh, that old chestnut, eh? Passing the soap. Lather yourself up right nice, eh? I've been wanting to take a shower for a long time. You may not believe it, but when we were kids, we didn't have a shower or even running water inside our house. Jesus, Roland. I know it can be wasteful. At least, that's what my parents would definitely say. But I think that sometimes small joys can give us strength to face something big. Why are we talking about this? Do you want to take a shower? Oh, no, it's a great stress reliever. I, I'll just step in. When you can scrub my back, I'll scrub your back. Yeah, of course. Why not? Okay. You'll like it. Oh. <laughs> just wait until I'm done. I'm almost there. Oh God damn! You giving me the blue balls, Robin. Would you mind going outside and closing the door? Oh, that's come on. How about I don't? How about I take your clothes? Huh? How about I flush the toilet and you get all the cold water in there? Maybe a little peeky peek? No peeky peeking. That is... That's ridiculous. I'm sorry. That's ridiculous. The shower's all yours. Feel free to use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the hell out of here. It's me. <laughs> I figured out the issue. The emergency generator has shut off. It needs to be restarted. It's located underground, but to reach it, you'll have to go through the parking lot. Of course I do. <sighs> There's no point even asking him because he's not going to be able to do it, is he? And no, I can't do this myself. Don't even ask. I wasn't. I wasn't. 
I'm nearly done setting up the radio transmitter. I need to finish this. Head down to me. I'll pass you the keys to the parking lot. See you soon, kid. Hmm. Go without me. I need to do something. You need to do something. Um, I could use some help. I think that together we'll only attract even more attention. Uh -huh. I'll see you later, okay? Okay. Good luck. Wave in my face. Right. Seems like I'm uh, going down to the car park. All the power's out. The lady in white's crying. Oh, she's there. Oh, yeah. Oh, we saw her face just for a second. You. Come here. Oh, god damn. Are we going into negotiations again? This was the guy from downstairs in the lobby, right? This is his room? Wrath again. I saw you with her. Young. Beautiful. You went to buy tickets. You... Are you breaking up with me? She's remembering the moment when her husband left. Okay. If I don't direct this fantasy of hers, everything could end very badly. Okay. Please snap out of it. I'm not your husband. These are tickets to a resort. I was preparing for a surprise for you. I have to go on a busy trip. You're mistaken. It wasn't me. She... Okay. The lady in white before, she kind of seemed to be coming out of it. If I challenge her... Well, let's just try it. I'm, you're mistaken. It wasn't me. Yeah, okay, that's not good. Of course, like I'm supposed to believe that. Who is she? That girl you were with. Blonde hair, pink dress, car. No. Black hair, black t-shirt, hotel, or... It seems her mind is starting to clear. Or she's getting fucking confused. No, 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 no. Who were you with? Tell me. Spend gum. Why look for fake stones when a real diamond is waiting at home? I'm kind of... I want to try the... It could kill me. But, um... I was just giving my sister a ride. A colleague from work was helping me out. There are different people who... Yeah. There are different people who saw it at different times. Nice. Different times. Oh. So I think there's certain... Blonde in the car. Or... Girl at the hotel. Hotel. I didn't come here alone. The guy whose name I don't remember. I took him away from his family like she took you away from me. He chose this room. Our room. And he didn't even know about it. Horn dog, Like all of them. You goddamn horn dog. The shadows in the corners are getting stronger. I barely remember myself. Was it me? Who killed him? More than likely. More than likely. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Remnants of a dream in the corners of the room. His shadow watches me from every corridor. I close my eyes and I see myself beside him. We're laughing. Dancing. He's leading me. And I let him lead. This shadow. If she told me what to do. Who's at fault? Me? Or her? People die because of your weakness. It's not your fault. Something's using you. Yeah, it's up for you to decide. Um. So this entity is obviously affecting everyone and is like doing like some kind of Professor X shit where she can sort of control our mind or put our greatest fears in our minds. I don't know. I'm not too sure what's going on. It's not your fault. Someone's Something's using you. I'm going to say it's up to her to decide. It's too hard to decide. Is he to blame? Am I? Or is she? Or are we all in this together? The voice whispers not only to me. You hear it too, don't you? I do. It pretended to be my husband. It will give you what you're looking for. It will become a part of you. Go. I won't see you again. Well, I'll leave you to your, your trauma. And that was the lady in white. Oh, oh uh-oh. We are under the sea, but everything is red now. 
And you know what that means, kiddies. That means red means danger. Oh. Oh, we skipped it. Interesting. So we didn't go past the professor's room. It's too dark in there. Oh, why did it make us skip that part? I'm wondering. Or does this just basically mean that the entity, the cosmic entity is, you know, getting more and more into our mind? Oh, and we're right back. Okay. Hmm. Oh, is this white thing? Okay. Okay. I think I'm losing control, aren't I? This is what this is meant to mean, that I'm, I am infected, and I'm losing control. Whereas before, I was able to kind of battle it. Not so much now. Maybe. Let's go to the Watcher and see if he can help us. Ah, it's you. Head to the main exit and turn right. There will be a staircase to the parking lot behind the door. Here's the key for it. Thanks, dude. Go down there and find the generator room. That's all. Off you go, kid. I've got work to do. Seems like he's still mad at me. If he's so smart, he should go there himself. Hmm. Maybe he should. Maybe he should. Right. Parkins this way. No notes. Sounds like a crow. Sounds more than a crow. Uh, maybe I don't want to go down to the parking garage. Everything's going to be fine here. Nothing to worry about. Always got to check those little corners, you know. We do have another utility room. Is there another? Ah, there is a note. I was scolded again for falling asleep. I can't help it. I have such beautiful dreams. And the voice. I close my eyes and I still hear it. I just don't know what he's saying. I need to listen. So who's this? The maintenance worker? And the alarms are going off already. Not a good sign. Not a good sign. Okay. We know we're going to have another beastie here. It just depends on what kind of beastie. Okay. Gonna head towards the light. Right, I know there's a phone down there. I just want to see what's down here. Oh, okay. Are you okay? I know there's some movement near you on the cameras. Be careful. Oh, God. Can you explain what I need to do? There's an emergency generator near you. It should be in working condition. It's just out of fuel. Find a canister and siphon off some gas from a couple of cars. As soon as you fill the tank, start the generator. There are plenty of cars here. Why not just drive off in one? I wouldn't recommend it. Several guests tried to do that on the first day. I can still see their wrecked cars on the external cameras. Okay. You wouldn't want to run into what's out there on the streets. And um, finally, what did you see on the cameras? A pale creature without eyes. Your girlfriend called it a crawler. Oh, God. Be quiet. It seems to be drawn to you. All right. All right. Take a canister and siphon off some gas. Then refuel the generator and start it. And one more thing. 
Once the emergency lights kick in, the elevator will start working too. Use it to go up to the top floor. I finished setting up the transmitter, but I need you to make some tweaks to the antenna. If everything goes well, we'll contact the rescuers today. Oh, that's good news. Good luck, kid. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there is a note there. Ah. Got the jerry can. He saw how I watch him from around the corner, and he understood everything. He knows what I'm thinking. He knows what I'm doing. He senses who I am inside. I need to stay away from him. So I'm, yeah. So I'm thinking that the maintenance worker is the crawler, right? Because it kind of makes sense. Oh, can we actually leave? No, we can't. Oh, I like that. Look at the jerry can at the top left. It's got like um, some liquid in there. So just siphon off some gas, eh? Oh, no. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Yeah, you go off that way. So, there, what, are there any certain cars I can do? Or how does this work? You're all the way over there. I'm going to... Oh, I can't even get... Can't siphon from the Lambo? Really? Here we go. Can I look at least while this is happening? Yes, I can. Where is he? Oh, he's right there. Yeah, you go off that way. No. Really? No cars over this area? Come on, man. What is it? Certain cars? I hate stealth sections. I'm not a fan of them. Right, I'll be very careful when I look around because I don't know where he is now. Where's he gone? Don't know where he's gone. But we've got another car here, so. Oh, I can hear him. He's right there. He's right there. Yeah, you go off that way. No? Nearly there. What, one more car? Two more cars? Come on. Come on. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. This should do it. Got a full tank of gas. But where are you? Gonna hug the wall and pretend that you were never here. Gonna fill the generator and everything will be fine. What? What? Did, what? What did that mean? Does that mean he's escaped back into the vents? Don't know. Come on, come on. Okay. Okay. Oh, the, the lifts are working now, right? Okay, good, 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 good. Let's go, let's go. Oh, it's a cutscene. Well, that looked like the priest has shot us directly blank in the face. Thanks, I guess? Come in. Oh, I don't like that. Hi? I mean, I suppose he did save me. How did you know I'd be here? Yeah. God. God told you? 
I don't think God told him. Stop the elevator. Why? Stop the elevator. Okay. You're the one with the gun. Good. Young woman. She was walking next to you a few days ago. Describe her. But remember, lying is a sin. Ah, oh, god damn it. Another negotiation and sinners will face God's punishment with a bullet to the head. Just an acquaintance, nothing special. I don't understand what you mean. Black hair, dark clothes, energetic. Um, I mean, none of these? If I say I don't understand what you mean... I'm going to try it. Don't understand what you mean. Don't judge the question. Don't judge... Don't dodge the question, my son. What's her name? Is he going to know if I lie? Let's try it. Oh, really? Hmm. Let's assume it's true. The girl I'm looking for was named Robin. She had light hair and was dressed in simple, modest clothing. Maybe it's her. Maybe not. She betrayed her parents, stole from the community of simple, God-fearing people. I came to guide her back to the righteous path. Do you think this is the girl you saw? Nah, it's another girl. Shit. You think so? Alright, my son, I'll take your word for it. I don't think I've survived this. Oh, I've been waiting for this for a long time. When God pays attention to the sin of the earth, the weak transform into their aspirations and destroy each other. You want to get out. That's why you're going upstairs, to call for rescue. But one of you has already fallen prey to the devil. He's already heeding its whispers. Yeah, that would be me, wouldn't it? That would be me. Do you know who? Um... I don't know. I can't put myself as an option. Don't lie to me. The world has shown God its true nature, and he is displeased. I hear his voice. I still don't know which one of you harbors the devil, but I won't let him escape. Hmm. This is my floor. Until we meet again. Surely he knows where we're staying, right? He knows the 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 suite that I'm in. He can just bust down the door. But how is he gonna take Robin back to the church when the world is basically eating itself alive? Oh, we're back at the restaurant. Well, the lady in white did say that she wasn't going to be here anymore. And I have to go fix the antenna. So does this mean I'm having sort of like blackouts? Because it keeps on chopping and changing. And there's Robin. Hey Robin, how is your day? I just went into the parking lot and uh, saw the crawler monster. Hi. Oh, thanks, Robin. That's really nice. Yeah, I'll have a go at it. Then I'll show you something. Oh, <laughs> cheeky cheeky. Alrighty. I didn't think I would have survived that round with the with the priest. It seems very high up. I think the game has allowed me to get away with that. Hey, kid. Glad you made it. The girl wanted to help. But she's a total zero in any sort of tech. I found settings that will help us contact rescuers. We need to check them. You already know the drill. Set the voltage to 13 volts and tune in the wave. So, what do we need to do here? We um, basically just need to flick around with this for a little bit. This one just seems to work. There you go. And then we go over here. Um, That's what we did last time. It's not working. Damn. Work. Crap. Something's wrong. Days of work down the drain. Maybe we should increase the voltage? Make it display 18 volts and change the wave to a new one. Alright. Uh, so what are we on here? No, that's not going to be right. 
Yes, the voltage is perfect. That took me far longer than I, uh... <laughs> Maths ain't my strong suit, right? Right, we've got the small one now, so... Mm, no, that's not right. There we go. Let's turn that again. One more time? No, too much, too much. Damn, I don't know what else could be done. Crap. I think we need to change something. Ah, to hell with it. Just crank the voltage to the max and pull the lever. What have we got to lose anyway? Oh, god damn it. I had 20 before. Huzzah! The message is out to the rescuers. It worked, kid. I'm sending a signal to the rescuers. If it works, we'll get an answer soon. Now let's wait, guys. Let's wait. All now right. let's go! I prepared something. What have you done, Robin? What have you done? just want to check out the area behind here, because we didn't look at this area. It seems like there's a... You never know what Easter eggs you could find. No, nothing. Okay. Oh, you made like little... The antenna's working, but we still have to wait for an answer. That we do, Robin. That we do. So, I thought we should take advantage of this moment and have a little picnic. Let's pretend this week never happened. Sure. It will be difficult if we consider the view. Thank you, that's very nice. Yeah. I'm glad you like the idea. It is very important for me. Let's stay just for a couple of minutes and wait for an answer. And if we'll not receive it, we'll just leave. Well, why are you just sitting? Take some food, help yourself. That banana looks a little uh, ripe, if you know what I mean. Well, how do you like it? <laughs> yeah, this thing is starting to mold. Sorry, we don't have much food left. Hmm. Listen, I want to tell you something. Okay. I lied to you, but you probably already yourself. Yeah. I ran away from home. Only this wasn't an ordinary house. Was it a commune? Was it a cult? I lived in a gated community. Yeah. They, we, were extremely religious. We were taught to be afraid of the outside world. They divided everyone into two groups. They had both damned. Damn, the faithful and the damned, eh? Well, I mean, the whole world's been damned now, so... You know what was the worst? All this crap that happened there? I thought it was normal. And that's how the world worked. One day, I just decided that I couldn't do it anymore. Well, good for you, Robin. Good for you. Yeah. What did they do to you, or did you steal something from them? Yeah. Yes. We hope that our preacher has some cash saved in his house. 
house. It turned out that he had kept more money than he priest should have. Mm. I mean it. Much more than I expected. Okay. This creature came here for me. I don't know why he hasn't knocked down our door yet. Yeah. He's probably busy with his crusade. I can imagine a better situation for him. Oh, I don't think he's going to forget you, Robin. Oh, okay. Let's change the subject. Eat something. Or did I cook all this for nothing? Well, not cooked, but I brought it here. Things happening around us. So many lives lost. It's a nightmare. It's probably even worse for those who've changed. Yeah, because they're now monsters. No, the professor concluded that it was not a parasite or an illness, um, something of a cosmic entity. I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, the world's kind of fucked, huh? Don't you regret any abandoning your loved ones? You're probably very angry with your parents. Aren't you afraid to be alone? Do you still believe in God? Um, yeah, I'm going to go that one. We have Robin, but then you blue ball me the other day in the shower, didn't you? And we found the Watcher guy. Although mm. he is a bit strange, he is also trying to help us. I'm sure of it. And he's doing a funny job of it. We all have our secrets. Mm. Your problems with communication, nightmares. You lost your parents, right? When I was in your room, I saw the documents from the Child Protection Services. Sorry, I was complaining to you about my parents and forgot that, well, you know. It's always about me, 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 isn't it, Robin, eh? I don't have anyone. Maybe that's the problem. I'm curious. What brought you to the hotel? I just have a feeling it's not a fun occasion. Um, I'm going to be truthful. I wanted to end uh, yeah, all my problems at once. What are you going to say to us, Robin? I'm glad you decided to put it off. And so am I. I'm not sure I could have made it this far without you. You value me only because I'm useful. My feelings go beyond friendship. Mm. I'm also glad that I met you. I acted on my own self-interest. We got to go with the romance option, right? Of course we do. Oh. That's a swing and a miss. That's a swing and a miss. I appreciate it. Uh. A last supper? That's bleak, Robin. That's some that's some bleak views. Oh, okay, I was right, yeah. Sure, Robin. We'll stay here for a minute. And look upon this desolate wasteland that used to be the city. Message from the rescue services. The request from the Sanity Inn Hotel has been accepted. An evacuation of civilians is scheduled for 8 p.m. tomorrow. All survivors are advised to make their way to the roof and await the arrival of the rescue team. Did you hear that? They're coming! Yay! Oh! We were just about to get it on. Are you okay? I don't know what's happening now. Her nose is bleeding. Uh, we are infected. Yeah. Just when we're about to bang. 
Worst moments. Worst moments. The last day. Oh. Dreaming underwater. There is our cosmic entity there. I can see you. How do we get to you? What are you going to tell us now? What little card have you got hidden up your sleeve, eh? Are you alright? Oh, it's Robin. Can you hear me? Uh, I'm just okay? tripping balls. No, Robin, I am far from okay. You slept all day. An hour ago, you just got up and started wandering around. Hmm. Is everything alright? I don't think so. Something is calling me. I guess I was just walking in my sleep. Everything is... I gotta tell her the truth. Come my on. God. I guessed it was something like this. Yesterday you were bleeding. Today you walked around like you were blind. You scream it in your sleep. Don't mm. tell me that this is a coincidence. I'm not telling you that at all. Tell me. This thing. Did it come to you? I think it's come to all of us, which is making me realize why has it not come to you? I don't know what you're talking about. How do you know about her? Someone talks to me at night. You mumble something while you sleep. Ah, uh, okay. I don't want to mention it. I thought you were just having nightmares. But something is clearly wrong here. Yeah. You're infected. Oh, God. This will never end. Rescuers will arrive soon. You remain silent and just leave with the rescue team. Dozens of other people could get hurt because of us. I, I don't know. I, got, I think I got this handled. I think I got this under control. Please you know? stay. We won't make it. What should we do? We'll fly away and tell them nothing. I'll tell them and hope for the best. You'll fly and I will stay. Oh, I mean, yeah. If I turn into Looks like I'm turning into a monster, right? So we do fly away, I could risk the entire population. This is like a thing moment. Tell them, and hope for the best. No, that's just gonna get me killed. You'll fly and I will stay. I think that's the valiant option really, isn't it? That's the... We're not gonna get to bang Robin, are we? You don't wanna put the others in danger, do you? Or do you think it won't be any better for you outside than it is in here? You can still get better. No one knows if the effect is irreversible. That's true. We can take a chance and fly away. You know what? You called it, Robin. Are you sure? Don't you want to change your oh, mind? Oh, yeah, because... Uh, <laughs> you know you're in the end game. Yeah, no, wait. So I've changed my mind. So, what are we mind. going to do? Uh, we're going to fly away and tell them nothing. We're and everything will be okay. Not only them, but... Nothing has happened to you yet, right? You remained yourself. Maybe everything will work out. That's what I'm thinking. Sometimes the best course of action in life is to do absolutely nothing and everything will sort itself out. Are you sure? Don't you want to change your mind? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, let's do it your way. <clears throat> Probably not the best the option. The will arrive soon. We need to tell the others to go upstairs. Tell that man in room 311. It's amazing he's managed to hold out this long. He wouldn't have made it without you. Priest. Mm. I really don't know what to do with him. Oh, we have to kill him. He scares him. me. I'm afraid of what he's capable of. He's a fanatic. He is zealous in his flight of fancy of trying to get you, and he's not gonna he's not gonna change his mind on anything, but is what I'm thinking. I know he helped you. Despite everything he's done, there may still be some good in him. Oh, it's like the Darth Vader thing. We're gonna fight we're gonna we're gonna try and Extract the goodness from him. Yeah, all right. Um, he must fly away with us. It's not our responsibility. Yeah, it's not our responsibility to save him. He's on his own crusade. That's... I saw how he walked from room to room and dealt with those whom he considered infected. Mm. Mm-hmm. Or who he wanted to consider infected. Yeah, he's probably killed a lot of innocent people who he thought were infected. Let's leave him here, along with everyone he killed. Worthy fate for this bastard. Ooh. Though, maybe we're just wasting our time on him. 
we don't even know where he is or how to contact him. Exactly. Yet, I can't shake the feeling that he's up to something. Oh, he's probably waiting outside the door this right now. This is probably the Watcher. Okay. Oh, the flyers are gone. It's time for us to get ready, kid, but I need help. Oh, God, what? Hmm. Is he infected? What? No, no, just... I'm disabled, kid. I can hardly do anything on my own. A friend from the army got me this job. He said it's a cushy position. Just watch the cameras and call the police if anything happens. You can't lift your butt off the wheelchair anyway. At least you'll have something here to do. And then all of this started. Why didn't you say anything? Because I was scared, kid. I'm still scared. What if you decide to break into me? What if you decide to break into me and take all my supplies? What if that crazy holy man does it? I was stuck in this damn room, on this damn wheelchair, and I watched people die. I was responsible for them. How could I call myself a security guard if I cannot guard? I just look at these damn monitors. I wanted to be useful, and I tried to be useful as I could. I'm sorry I relied on you so much. Uh, it's okay, we were helping each other. You have nothing to apologize for, I understand. How can I trust you now? Be glad you're locked in there, otherwise I'd smash your head in with your own- Damn! Damn, that's an option. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with the polite, we were helping each other. Thank you, kid. Thank you. I have one last request, and I really hope you'll agree to fulfill it. Am I going to have to escort him to the... Is this going to be an escort mission now? Come down here and help me out. Ugh. I'll open the door so we can finally meet in person. Alright? Yeah, what's your name at least? My name is Ben. Thank you. Ben the Watcher. I prefer Watcher. I'm going to keep on referring to him as Watcher, not Ben. Yes, kid. One more thing. I saw how you look around the corners while walking through the corridors, as if you're talking to someone, or seeing those who aren't there. You're infected. I know it. Knew it for a long time. Okay. But you've been fighting this infection much longer than the others, and I believe that you will not give in to it. Yes, exactly! And if you decide not to tell anyone about it, I will remain silent too. Okay. Because I trust in you. Alright. See I you soon. Everything. Eavesdropping again, Robin. Jesus. Don't see him. He needs your help. Don't worry about me. I'll pack my things and wait for you on the roof. Huh. It's strange. Lost hope this will ever end. Be careful. Yeah, the um, the lines between reality and fantasy are now blurring. Uh, the radio is off. We are struggling to keep... I'm going to call it an infection. But we are struggling to keep this at bay now, aren't we? It's getting stronger. I like that little detail. My steps are now sounding like I'm sludging through water. We have to let the professor know. Let's call on him. Who's there? Is that you, young man? Did something happen? Rescue on its way. Get ready. You're not joking? That's wonderful. I need to prepare. Go about me, young man. I'll get up myself as soon as I gather my strength. And young man, thank you for everything you've done. Are you, I, I, I owe you my life. I, I'm glad that there are still people in this world who can be relied upon. And I'm fortunate that one of them happens to be my next door neighbor. I'm glad the professor made it. I'm still getting ready, young man. Don't worry about me. Okay. Yeah, there's like a sort of sloshy noise. We can use the lift now, right? Nothing's going to jump out of us. The priest isn't going to... He's not here. That's fine. Right. I'm gonna meet Ben. Gentle Ben, the Watcher. Gonna try to go back into the swimming pool? No. The area's all locked off. No, no, no. Oh, priest has been here, hasn't he? 
Uh, damn. The priest came for him. He was eavesdropping all this time to sneak in here when the door opens. Some cameras are still working. This is my corridor. He's got Robin. He's taken her upstairs. Hello, my son. What do you want? I want to meet and talk. You were going to run away from the wrath of God, but I can't allow that. Sinners must be punished. If you want her to survive, go up to the roof. We have a serious conversation ahead of us. Oh dear. Oh dearie, dearie, dear. I'm sorry, Ben. Well, looks like uh, we're going to have a final showdown with the priest. I wonder if there was anything that I could have done in terms of saving Ben. Like, when the priest was interrogating me in the elevator, if I said, like, oh, I think the, the devil's in the girl. I said I don't know, right? Or this would have just happened anyway. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. Hello, cosmic entity. Why are you going up? He will kill you. I need to save her. I need to get out of here. Leave me alone. I need to save her. You don't owe anyone anything. She would have left you. I don't believe that. They all got what they deserve. Their lies led to this. And you just made everything worse. You risked yourself to get their approval. You let yourself get attached to someone, and now you will suffer. I can still help her. If you fail, both of you will die. If you save her, she will leave you and break your heart, just like before. Just like before. He has already felt my, my mark on you. He won't let you go. Have you ever wondered why you don't see their faces? Oh, that it's not just an illness? A barrier? A shield from those who wish to stab you in the back? Secrets. Vices. Weaknesses. Each of them. The girl, the guard, the priest. Which one of them will stay with you? Who can understand you? No one. No one. No one. Except me. Hmm. Oh. And she's disappeared. Oh. Well, it seems like the priest has been going through the restaurant, making his mark on people, but they were already dead anyway, so, um, oh, there is a note here. CA, new guest checked in today. The guy came with just one backpack and rented a room for one day. There's something strange about him. He avoids people. He wants to be alone. He talks to himself. He is quiet. He is just like me. That was me, right? So was this the, the 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 maintenance guy who became the crawler? Oh. You're probably the only one here that doesn't seem to have all their bases ripped off and everything. But okay. I guess we're uh Yep, here we go. It's a great setting. Love the sun setting in between the buildings. Hello, priesty! Everything ends, my son, including our acquaintance. You okay? Run away! He went mad! Yeah, I think he was already mad beforehand. She's supposed to be quiet now. Say one more word to her, and she will die. I've worked hard for the glory of God these last days. He forced sinners to reveal their true form to the light, and it was my duty to make sure that everyone received what they deserved. But my work isn't done yet. There is one last confession to be held. Is that my one? <sighs> Repent, my son. Oh dear, instead of wrath, it's condemnation. Right. 
What should I repent for? Release her first. I don't think... What should I repent for? Yowzers. The first sin, my son. Collusion with the devil. What are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? Oh, he knows that I'm infected, right? You don't have to make excuses. I know the signs. I've seen him many times these days. The devil directs you with his words and says what you want to hear. And you let him carry you away. I don't understand what you mean. I don't think that's a... He's just gonna... Yeah, it's just an infection. It can be cured. I heard a voice, but I've never given into it. I think that might play with his religious... Yeah. Oh, it's gone down. Great. You haven't strained... You haven't stained your hands with the blood of the innocent. Not yet. But that doesn't mean you're not guilty of something else. The second sin. Abetting. You sheltered a runaway thief. A traitor to her own family. What will you say in her defense? Talk about hypocrisy. You're the one who milked my family dry. I took it from you. Not them. That's true. Seems like old priesty boy here has his own little secrets that he needs to kind of, uh, you know, bring to the foray here. Um, she didn't do anything wrong. I don't think he's going to like that. I didn't know anything about it. She's guilty, but she can repent. Yeah. You allowed her to escape punishment simply because you hoped for her repentance. I'm not guilty of anything. It's his church that was exploiting us. You disappoint me. The third sin, fleeing from the holy duty. I gave you a chance to survive. You might not have noticed it, but I tried to guide you on the right path. You killed a monster for me. I mean, I'll, I'll give you that. Thanks. But um, I don't know what you mean about the right path. I would have liked to see a person like you by my side to assist me in God's work. And you decided to run away with the rest. Become just another sheep in the flock. Wait, how do you know this? There is no sin in being too close to people. I understand people, and that's why I keep my distance. I'll stay with you and help if you let her go. Interesting. Um, I don't think he's going to respond kindly to the, the no sin, but maybe I understand people, and that's why I keep my distance. He could relate to that, maybe? We're going to go with... I mean, if I say I'll stay with you, like, he knows I'm infected, so I don't think that's going to work. So it's one of these two. I understand people, and that's why I keep my distance, yeah. Ah, oh, yes, gone down a little. It's a worthy start, but it's not enough. Knowledge imposes responsibilities. Good, good. I am in doubt, my son. You walked a worthy path, but the voice of God commands me to carry out his punishment, and his word is the law. Forgive me. Yeah, how do you know that God is speaking to you? And not our, our friend deep in the ocean? Foolish question, my son. He knows all our secrets. His words come true. How can I not believe him? You taught me yourself that you can't trust anyone. It's just... No, yeah, it's got to be that one, isn't it? But who could it be if not our father? He guides me. He's allowing me to carry out his justice. He preaches what I've known all along. Isn't it the devil who tells what people want to hear? Yeah. It's true, but I've waited for this moment all my life. I prayed for him to answer me. I wanted to be his chosen one. I trusted a deceiver. There's only one way out. Oh, no. Come on, forgive yourself and others. No, this time I won't listen to you. Oh dear. I had enough strength to judge others. I have enough strength to judge myself. And if others don't deserve forgiveness, then... May each be repaid according to his deeds. Damn. Are you okay? What's going on? I don't know if that was good or bad. I kind of get the feeling that there was a possibility that we may have been able to save him. And now for... Oh. Have a little statue here. Do you trust people? What he first said to me, wasn't it? Where am I meant to be going here? I see. We have the radio. I am voice. 
mean, there's nothing I could really have done to the um, radio show host. Couldn't have saved him. Oh. What was that? Well, TVs. Cameras. I suppose this represents uh, Ben, the watcher. Yep, we have a telephone here. Is he going to be talking to me now from beyond the grave? 007. I'm disabled. I've watched people die. Oh. We're sort of back in the hotel, kinda? More graffiti. Oh, don't like that sound. Well, let's check. Uh, and there it is. Back in the room. Welcome back. Have a seat. You must be tired, aren't you? Would you like me to make you some tea? Hmm. Yeah, let's sit down. Why not? Well done. Relax. There's nothing for you to worry about here. I wanted to talk to you like this, directly, for so long. But your mind is such a stubborn thing. It doesn't let anyone in. It took a very long time before I could gather all the pieces to truly understand you. And now, when we can really talk, I have an offer for you. Okay. But first, I want to dispel your doubts. What is happening to the world? Are you in my head? Why are you killing people? What do you want from me? Uh, yeah, let's go with what's happening to the world. I'm bringing a piece of my home with me. I feel unwell without it. Don't worry, it's a minor thing. You'll get used to it. Are you in my head? Not quite. I'm very far away. But I can connect with those who are ready to answer me. Some allow me to come and visit them. What's... Oh, the uh, the apartment's kind of coming apart every time I ask a question. Why are you killing people? I never harmed anyone. All I do is bring love. I bring you love. My friends simply stop those who prevent it from spreading. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're... We're in this kind of weird vortex now. What do you want from me? I don't want anything from you. On the contrary, I want to help you. I'll give you what I gave to others. Happiness. I came here for a reason. Eight billion souls are suffering in purgatory. How could I turn away from them? I can give them happiness. To each his own. Unique. As I've already given to others. The giant squid that was floating through the window earlier. You've turned people into monsters, yeah. They got what they wanted. A new world inside their minds. A new body. The ability to charm. To be part of someone's life. To be invincible. To punish. They felt great. Until you came. Not everyone can be reached so easily. Unfortunately, your mind is a stubborn one. A rare quirk of perception that was combined with years of trauma and doubts. That's why you're so important. If I become a part of you, I'll understand how to become a part of everyone else. Right. So... This... My interpretation of this so far is that this cosmic entity has come to Earth, has spoken to people and given them their kind of truest, basest desires, but in... That has kind of changed certain people into monsters in a different form, in a different body. It's kind of like the monkey's paw, right? So I, I'll give you whatever you want, but you'll be trapped inside your mind and your body will be like some kind of cosmic entity, monster, H.P. Lovecraft, H.P. Lovecraft type creature. You, Your gifts are not material. It's like madness. What do you want in return? Yeah, it's like madness. Why? Each of you sees the world in your own way. I just made their versions feel more real. I showed them the world they dreamed of, full of admirers, friends, sinners. After all, you also see the world not like others, but you wouldn't call yourself insane. 
I feel your loneliness. Even when you open up to others, they are not able to fully understand you. But I can. Yeah, I don't trust this. I have someone to rely on. Yeah. I hear Robin's voice. I have her. Because of a coincidence. I tried to help you, to open your mind so that we could talk. Unfortunately, it wasn't my voice that you began to hear first. But when she leaves, everything will change. You're still unsure. I see it. Alright. Let me remind you of something. The moment that started it all. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, we're going to have some... In the foster home, perhaps? <gasps> oh, I see. That's how you found her. How old were you then? Five? Six? No father? No friends? Communication issues because of your condition? There was only her in your world. And then she decided to leave you. Wasn't your mother supposed to be that person you could always rely on? If she let you down, anyone can let you down. Don't you dare talk about her like that. You're trying to manipulate me. I don't need her anymore. Yeah, you're trying to manipulate me. I've never deceived you and never let you down, unlike everyone else. Why don't you believe me? Only a body in a flooded... Only a body in a flooded bathtub. I wonder, is that why your dreams are always full of water? Yeah, it would make sense now, I guess. I know why you came to the hotel. You thought about following her. If you were ready to leave everything, why not join me instead? Yeah, because now I found Robin. I found my emo girl. We made a connection. I'm sorry, but she's gone. The helicopter has already arrived and she left you on the roof. Now you only have me. That's bullshit. That I'm calling I'm calling the BS. The time has come. Oh no. There is nothing around you. No future. No past. No one to rely on. Robin's calling me. There is only me. That's bullshit. She's around here. She's floating in here with us. And I can give you everything you want. Are you ready to accept me? She's here! <gasps> Robin's here! Look, she's that little ball of light. <laughs> Don't leave. I'll be with you. Sorry, cosmic mother person. There's nothing waiting for you there. Stay. I mean, I, I, could, I could become one with the ultimate cosmic beam. That's an intriguing offer. But no. Stop. The fact that you're getting more growly when I'm trying to do that just makes me think I'm making the right decision here. Here we go. Into the light. This could mean that I'm dead and this so was all... Glad you woke up. Oh, we see her face. <laughs> We've overcome our trauma. Don't move. Was on the way. Excerpts from the diary of the commander of the 3rd Rescue Service Brigade, okay. September 19th, 1993. A distress signal was received from the coordinates of the Sanity Inn Hotel. Our rescue helicopter arrived at the specified location at 8.03. There were three survivors, a young man, a girl, and an elderly man. We provided them with first aid and transported them to a temporary hospital. This evening I received a message that the guy and the girl had escaped from the hospital. The Center for Disease Control became interested in the guy's tests, but there's something about that. An elderly professor from the hotel came in asking about his friends. I said that we were looking for them. The CDC are going crazy. Information about the guy was sent to all institutions, from the police to hospitals. I don't think we find them. We have other things to worry about. Every major city I've heard of has had an outbreak. It's no longer possible to contain it. We were ordered to take survivors to a quarantine zone. We're able to survive about 15% of state's population. I pray for us every day. I hope that I'll be heard. Does the professor not have some kind of remedy to, to fight to combat it? Don't know. Well, there you go, guys. That was... Um insanity yeah 
I really enjoyed that. I thought that the... It had a great story. I really appreciated the story. It had a dark atmosphere, unsettling tones of suspicion and mistrust. Um, the visuals and sound were, were very varied. Um, there were some tense moments in that. Uh, usually when you play an indie horror game, you can sort of telegraph where things are coming from. There was a lot about this game that I couldn't telegraph, that I didn't see coming. Um, juggling acts of story and dialogue options and the kind of mechanics at play were really impressive and I liked the flow of the story. It kept me enthralled. Um, I probably would have had this done all in one session, but um, I quite like the fact that I've kind of broken up a bit because then I can think a little bit more about you know, how we got to be where we were. And I'm really impressed that this is an early access game. It pretty much seems done. There might be a few kind of visual glitches and elements there and the spelling might not be correct in some of the instances, but apart from that, um, I love I loved the intense uh, negotiations with the, the white lady, with the priest. Um, I love their storylines. Um, it seems to me that this cosmic entity arrived on Earth. I, I do think this is like a cosmic horror game. Perhaps you could even say this is sci-fi with horror elements involved in it. But I like the fact that she was invading everyone's space and basically saying to them, like almost like a devil type character, like, I can give you everything you desire. But in doing that, it either makes you go crazy or changes the form of your body. That's how I'm interpreting it. I like how there was a lot of ambiguous um, narrative styles. Like, we didn't really know much about our character. Um, I think I called it early on, like, as soon as I saw the razor and it said that thing of, like, I'm only here one night. Doesn't matter if it's that blunt or whatever. It'll, it'll do the job. And I was like, oh, okay. That's not great. Um, the character of Robin, like... I like it toe the line between do you trust her, do you not? But you know, hot emo girl, what are you going to do? Um, I don't know how many endings there are on this. Um, that to me sounded like a pretty good one. Maybe not the best one. Um, there is a part of me that kind of thinks that perhaps we could have saved the priest. Perhaps we could have saved Ben at the same time. Not entirely sure. But I'll leave the description uh, below for you to kind of find this if you want to play it and uh, try and find a different ending. Maybe there's different narrative paths that you can take depending on the kind of dialogue options that you have. But I really enjoyed it and I hope you did too. Um, leave your comments below and uh, like or dislike the video. And if you haven't already uh, and you've made it this far, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, but please sub if you haven't already. I'll see you on the next one. Stay ghoulish. Bye.